today we're going to be solving quadratic equations by factorization remember you can also solve quadratic equations using the quadratic formula and i have a video on that on my channel already so say we were to uh, solve this equation by factorization first thing is to draw out two brackets like this like so one you draw this first bracket and then you draw the second bracket next look for two numbers that can be multiplied together to get a product of eight this eight here and can be added together to get a sum of six, this six here. So two numbers we can multiply to get eight is two and four, and you can clearly see that. And these two numbers, when we add them, we will get six. So we're gonna put two and four in the bracket. Once we've put the, whatever we have here, the letter we've got here, we put it in the two brackets we have just drawn. So first thing, draw out the brackets, which is these two brackets we've drawn. Second is to look for the two numbers, which we have done after you've put the X in both brackets. Now to solve it, if X plus two is zero, X must be negative two. I'm sure you know that. And if x plus 4 is 0, x must be negative 4. So your answer will be negative 2 and negative 4. The next one we have to go to do is this one. First thing first, we're going to look for two numbers that can be multiplied together to get the product 6 and can be added together to get a sum of negative 7, as, it, as in this case. Now, if you do negative 1 times negative 6, you will get a positive 6, which is this bit here. And if you do negative 1 add negative 6, you will get negative 1 minus 6, which will give you negative, negative 7. I'm sure you know that we can't have these two uh, symbols next to each other. And so these two signs, when you combine a positive and a negative, you would have a negative. And so a negative 1 minus 6 is negative 7. So the two numbers will be negative 1 and negative 6. And then you can solve the problem. So if x negative 1 is 0, your x must be positive 1 or just 1. If x minus 6 is 0, your x must be 6 or positive 6. So your answer will be x is 1 or x is 6. And that's how to do that bit. The next one we want to do is this one. Same procedure. First thing, draw out the two brackets so you can draw out these two brackets. Next is to put your letter X in both brackets, which we've done. And then we can then find a product of negative 6 yeah, and a sum of negative 1. You know this is negative 1 even though the 1 is not written there. So. The two numbers we need, if you do 2 times negative 3, you will get a negative 6, yeah? And if you do 2 add negative 3, you're going to have two, neg 2 minus 3, which is negative 1. So you found your two numbers. So you're going to put positive 2 and negative 3 in your bracket. Now, if x plus 2 is 0, x must be negative 2. And if x minus 3 is 0, x must be positive 3. So your final answer will be x is negative 2 and x is 3. All right? The next one we're going to do is this one here. Now, in this case, we have 2x squared minus 7x plus 6 equals 0. First thing, draw out the two brackets. So we've done out the two bracket. Next, we put this 2x in each of the brackets. So that's 2x, that's 2x, yeah? Whatever you have, which is for your square, remember what makes it quadratic is this uh, index power 2 here. So you put the 2x and the 2x there. Now, two numbers I can multiply to get 12 is what I need in this case. Why? Because 2 times 6 will give me 12. If the coefficient was 1, like we have been doing, then the product would just have been 6 because 1 times 6 would have been 6. But in this case, it's 2 for the coefficient here. So you do 2 times 6, which is 12. So the product we're looking for is 12 and not 6. Like I said, it would just have been 6 if the coefficient of this s square was just 1. All right? Then the sum we need is negative 7. Yeah? Now, those two numbers we can have are negative 3 times negative 4 will give you a positive 12. So that's that bit there. And negative 3 add negative 4 becomes negative 3 minus 4, which gives negative 7. So that's it there. So the two numbers we want is negative 3 and negative 4. Now we're going to solve. 
Before we solve, you look at the two brackets. Is there any of the brackets that can be simplified? Yes, this 2x minus 4 can become, uh, let me put an arrow there so you can see it. Let's change the color. So this whole bracket here can become this bit here because when you simplify it, you then have x minus 2. But the first bracket remains the same. So now we know if x minus 2 is 0, x must be positive 2. So we solve for that one. 2x minus 3. If 2x minus 3 is 0, how do we solve that? So I'm going to show you this. If 2x minus 3 is 0, we need to get rid of this negative 3 first by adding 3 to it. And because we've added 3 here, we have to add 3 there. So it becomes 2x equals 3. Remember, 3 minus 3 is 0. So that's gone up. Now, if 2x equals 3, you need to divide both sides by 2 to eliminate these two here. So your x will then become 1.5 or 1.5. So with this, you know if your 2x minus 3 is 0, like you have it here, 2x minus 3 is 0, your x must be 1.5. And so your answer will be x is 2 and x is or x is 1.5. So that's how to solve quadratic equations by factorization. I hope that's clear enough for you guys. See you soon in another video. Thank you.